All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. So we have a really interesting knife for you today, and this one comes uh, by way of the Lefty Pass Around Group from Cavill Knives. Uh, that's right, this is the Cavill, and I think you pronounce it Amuse, but I am not sure. Uh, it is apparently a design by uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Hank, uh, and it is a chef-led design because this is intended to be a kitchen folder. Um, guys, but, you know, there's two things right off the bat. I've had a lot of people tell me this is an odd-looking duck. <laughs> it kind of has a, a goose or a duck bill going on here and an eye. Uh, but uh, it, I've also had people say it's a pretty knife, and it really is. I mean, it's it's uh, this really kind of weathered-looking titanium. It has uh, this uh, these lines here, the beautiful Cavill pivot, um, which is uh, only tooled on the one side and captive. You have a... Um, uh, wow, a frame lock uh, with an over travel stop, this bronzed hardware, bronze backspacer. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, it is odd. It is definitely a weird looking knife, but it is purpose built. Um, now, we'll tell you, your thumb is so cradled right there. Look at that. Bam. Uh, you do have jimping right there, and it feels good like this or like this. Now, we're going to talk more. Now, I want to preface this by saying this is not what I would call a full review. I would love to have used this in the kitchen. I am leaving for Blade Show, uh, and I just don't have time. I've, I've been working on microbursts all weekend, my knife, uh, and had graduation, and then this. So this is not... Uh, I didn't get to do any kitchen cutting with it, but we're going to do a demo here in a morning in a minute, which is why you have a different uh, you know piece of material here for me to cut on. Um, and we're going to do uh, what will probably answer most of your questions. Now, I believe this is M390. Uh, I will f I, I'm will. having trouble on Cavill's website finding specs on this knife. I can find a description of the knife. By the way, this is $314. There's either a black version, and these lines on the black version have uh, bronzed uh, coloring in them, uh, or there's this bronzing version um, and again, it is a chef-led design by Rock, Paper, Scissors, Hank. Um, and again, I believe it is M390. I cannot, I have searched and searched to try to find a, um, you know, some specs on this one. And I'm just having trouble finding it. But it is four and a half ounces. I weighed it just a moment ago. And as far as the full length, uh, you were at eight and a half. And the blade, the cutting edge, I would call just under four inches. So uh, really uh, full-size kitchen knife. Now, um, let's talk about some of the stuff I normally talk about before we get into any cutting. It is contoured scales, this beautiful finish. You do have a decent grip on it. Uh, it is pretty big in the pocket. It carries canted like so, so you can still get your hand in your pocket. Um, not bad, nice and smooth, nothing's going to catch you uh, there. Love the hardware, very cool. Now, middle finger flick on this is really nice. Uh, it has a great detent uh, thumb. Yep, same thing. Uh, and those are your methods of opening, unless you just want to pull it open, which is fine. Lockup is uh, 35 or 40, um, and it is dead centered. Cavill's fit and finish has been pretty phenomenal in the two I've seen. Um, no lock rock, no blade play. It is magnificently locked up. Now, uh, there is a chamfer there and a nice uh, lock bar access. By the way, your cutout is on the outside. Um, not a huge deal to me because it's smoothed out. Uh, but I will tell you this lock bar, I don't know why exactly it is a fairly short lock bar um and it's thick but it is you you definitely have to mean it when you push it over um it's not there's no lock stick or anything like that it's just you gotta push it uh it does have a lock bar interface steel very cool now let's move this stuff out of the way now here's what i was saying first of all 
let's just show the slicey part of it. Um, yes, I mean, fa I'm not, guys, the effort I'm putting into this is minimal. It is extremely sharp and extremely thin. Uh, the stock is actually fairly thick, but you have a very uh, nice grind on it. I, yeah, this is a hollow grind. Man, let me just double check before I say that. Give me just a second off camera. No, it is flat. All right, I lied. It is a flat grind, but it is a tall flat grind. And it is very, very slicey, as you saw there. Now, this is just a piece of uh, thin rope. Um, so, a lot of people have asked me about, are my, are my knuckles going to clear? Now, I'm just going to do this grip, and I'm going to rock here. Yeah, my, is my hand in the way? Nope. Okay. So you can see my knuckles are definitely hitting. Okay. So can you see that? When I'm rocking down. Now, it is cutting, by the way. So if I come up and I kind of do this grip, I am not hitting. Okay. Uh, because now I've shortened my grip and I am not, again, I can go either way here. I can go forward to back, back to forward. And this thing is a cutter, as you can see. I could just do this all day. Uh, this thing is a great uh, cutter. So the answer is, and again, here's probably what I would do if I was cutting like a green onion or something like that. Uh, I would just do it like this. Um, and by the way, it's not the fault of the rope, I mean of the knife that the rope is just sort of. Now you can slice too, as you can see. If I can actually do it, there we go. Let's do that again. There we go. So really, I mean, again, there's definitely a grip here that is very usable, uh, as you can see. Again, I am not chef, uh, but very much. I think that's the grip. Now, if you're just full knuckling it, full gripping it, you are hitting right here. Um, but again, I don't, as a chef, I think most people are going, I'm not a chef, but from a chef perspective, in a kitchen perspective, most people are going to grip this knife like so. And you're not hitting, and it is absolutely cutting really, really well. So there you go. That is the best you're going to get from me on this one uh, as far as cutting uh, because I just didn't have time to do uh, the full-on other stuff. Now let's do our... Uh, orange rope size comparisons here. All right, so number one, and again, it's going to be hard to compare because it's shaped differently. Uh, there is your rat one, which looks about the same length when uh, fully extended, and the rat two is quite a bit smaller. So there you go. So Cavill knives to me, guys, they're working with some cool designers. Uh, they're coming up with some really interesting stuff. This is not soulless, boring knife company. This is a knife company that obviously wants some style and they're nailing it. By the way, this clip is fine. Uh, milled clip. Uh, you, you do feel it in hand a little bit, but it's not a hot spot for me. Um, very cool. Now, uh, interesting, interesting knife. So Guys, I had to get this done to send it along to the next person. And again, I apologize for not doing any kitchen cutting on this one. Just didn't have time. So uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think below down in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's going on to the next channel, uh, which I think is Puerto Rican with a knife. So be looking for that. And guys, I appreciate you. Do all the things. Thumbs up. Like comment, subscribe, notification, and thank you guys so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.